Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Those that don't know who I am, my name's Nadine. I am a registered midwife here working in the UK. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys my go-to makeup routine for work. So if I'm doing a 12 hour shift, if I'm doing a day shift or a night shift, or if I'm in the community, this is the makeup look that I would kind of go to every time I'm going to work but I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys and say that I do my makeup every single shift or every time I go to work because that's not true because I hardly hardly ever have the time to wake up early enough to do my makeup I would prefer to sleep a little longer than to wake up early to do my makeup so when I do have the time and when I do wake up early enough to do my makeup I'll do my makeup and I'll do something simple something classy something basic and I'm gonna show you guys my go-to makeup look for a midwife for a student midwife for a student nurse or a nurse and I'm gonna show you guys what I do and also the products that I use um, for this go-to makeup look so if you're new here and you haven't hit that subscribe button you haven't joined my youtube family make sure you hit that subscribe button like this video comment below and let's get into this video so at the moment my face is washed and dried I need to moisturize and do everything before I actually apply some makeup so I'm gonna literally show you everything that I do for from the shower up until finishing my makeup. So I've um, washed my face and now it's time to apply cream, apply primer and then get into the makeup routine. So I'm gonna show you guys all the products that I actually use. So my face is washed and dry. So the first thing I'll use, so I use these ordinary products. So this is a cleanser. This is the first product that I use on my face after I've washed my face. So I just take a little bit just like that and I just apply it to my skin and then I rub it in yeah I rub it in circular motions Having dry skin before you put your makeup on is not the one. You need a protective barrier um, on your skin first before you apply your makeup. And if you have dry skin before you apply your makeup, it's gonna annoy you the whole day. Your whole day, your face is gonna be itching, it's gonna be cracking, it's just gonna be annoying. So always apply some cream before you apply your makeup. So that's the first step that's the first cream that I use so the second cream that I use is still from ordinary this is the second cream that I use is from the ordinary so I just apply a few drops to my face and then I rub it in as well So this is all cleanser and moisturizer for the skin. Bear in mind that I haven't creamed my face after washing my face. So this is all like moisturizer and cream for my face. This is not primer. I haven't primed my face yet, okay? So the last step from my ordinary um, skincare routine is this moisturizer it's from ordinary as well so this moisturizer is the last um, step of my skincare routine um, and we're just gonna apply a little amount literally that is it that is all that I'm adding to my face so my skin is lovely and moisturized um, it's feeling very soft so on a busy day when I have no time I'll literally go to work like this 
put my mask on and I go to work like this I'll just go to work anyhow like this when I don't have time literally this is how I would go to work but when I have time I will do my makeup so let's get into the whole makeup routine and the first steps that I do in terms of putting my makeup on for work so the first step that I do is do my eyebrows so I got this pot from Superdrug many many years ago so even the name has rubbed off but this pot is from Superdrug it's lasted me for years so i would very highly recommend if you're constantly doing your eyebrows this is very useful it doesn't waste and it lasts you a very very long time so the first thing i do is do my eyebrows i just have this brush i think i got this brush from primark many many years ago so right now my my eyebrows are just not it so i just fill them in Okay, so my eyebrows are filled in so now I'm gonna just brush them out so the next step is I'm going to just shape my eyebrows I'm going to use the LA Pro Girl concealer in the shade um, chestnut and I'm just going to use it to shape my eyebrows and give it that nice eyebrow shape because right now it's looking all kinds of crazy so let's just shape the eyebrows and make sure they're looking good okay so one eyebrow is done let me shape the other one I know it looks crazy but don't worry I'll blend all the, all of this in and it will look really nice so after I've done my eyebrows and I've kind of concealed my eyebrows and I'm gonna blend it in with my real technique blending brush and I'm just going to blend that all in make sure that that's all well and truly blended in so do you see do you see it still looks crazy but don't worry guys it will soon make sense so the next step is foundation so the foundation that I use for like my day-to-day -day foundation if I'm going to work or if I'm running errands if I'm going somewhere that's not important then I'll be using my L'Oreal um, true match um, foundation it's very cheap I think I got this for six pounds uh, I got two for six pounds so I got two of these for 12 pounds um, so this foundation is cheap and it's actually very very good um, but this is the foundation that I'll be using for work and for like things like errands if I'm quickly heading out somewhere but for nights where I'm going out out and I'm going to like a wedding or an event or I'm going out with the girls or I'm going for dinner and things like that I'll use my NARS foundation but this stuff is very very expensive so I wouldn't be wearing this for work or for like day-to-day -day places or if I'm running errands and things like that I'll only wear this if I'm going out out so the foundation that I'll be using for work will be my L'Oreal true match foundation so I'm just gonna add a little bit And then I'm going to blend that in with my Real Technique um, foundation brush. And just make sure that I've covered every single corner or every single skin on my face. Oh, I even forgot to tell you the colour. It's in the colour 9R and 9C. So 9R and 9C. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says 9R, 9C. That's the colour that I use in my l'oreal sometimes i use the color 10 um and then sometimes i use the color 9r 9c so this is the 9r 9c okay so that is my foundation done and applied so now I'm gonna use concealer um, for under my eyes and my nose just a little bit not too much when I'm going out I use quite a lot and I use it everywhere I use it on my nose under eyes my mouth um, my chin and my forehead but for work I don't do too much so I use the NYX um, can't stop won't stop concealer in the shade uh, mahogany in the shape mahogany so 
I'll just use a little bit for under my eyes because shift work is stressful. You'll get bags or dark circles under your eyes. So concealer will be your best friend while working. So I'll just apply a little bit on my nose and this is literally all I do. And then I get my blending um, sponge um, and then I'll just blend that in and make sure that it's nicely blended. So I'll just blend that all in. I'm not really too worried about putting concealer here or here because I'll be wearing a face mask anyway. So all that people are gonna see is my eyes. So that is all that I'm paying attention to. So the next step that I do is I use the Revolution baking powder just under my eyes so that everything is like, stays on my face. Um, so I'm just gonna use a little bit, not too much. Um, if I was going out, then I'll use quite a lot. Um, but for work, it's only for setting purposes. So I use a little bit. And I blend it in straight away. I don't even bake. I don't even waste time to, to kind of wait for it to bake. I just blend it in straight away. Because we have a shift to go to. Time is not on our hands. So I literally just blend that in straight away. I don't wait. And that's basically it. So the next step is my Fenty Beauty bronzer. Yes, this bronzer just gives me life every single time. So I don't use too much of this because my face will be covered anyway. Like half of my face will be covered. So I only just use the bare minimum just to give my face some color from all the foundation and from all the concealer that I've used. So I use a little bit of bronzer just to give my face a little bit of color. Just a little bit. I'll just add some here just to give just to add a little bit of color to my face and that's all the bronzer that I'll be using so for work I don't do eyeshadow I don't have time for eyeshadow I don't have time for eyelashes so all I do to my eyes is I add a little bit of eyeliner and mascara and then I'll be on my way. So the eyeliner that I'm going to use is from Revolution. So you can get this from Superdrug, you can get this from Boots. Uh, wherever they sell uh, Revolution products, you can get this from. So I just add a little bit of eyeliner to my face. And that's it, a little bit of eyeliner. And then I just use my mascara. So the mascara that I use is from Kiko. I've had this mascara for a very long time. As you can tell, I don't use a mascara all the time. If I've had this mascara for a very long time, I hardly ever use mascara. But um, for times like this, for times when I go to work, I will put on mascara because I'm not wearing any eyelashes. So I'll just add a little bit on. that is it for my eyes so the next step will be my lips but my lips will be covered um, because of the face mask so I don't do too much to my lips so all I use is my Fenty Beauty um, gloss and I just apply that to my lips and that is literally all that I do and then I just go about my business I fix my hair right now my hair is braided so I don't need to do too much to it and then I make my way to work so this is basically my makeup routine my simple day-to-day -day basic um, face for work if I'm going to work and I have time to do my face this is what my face would look like 
and I actually like a basic face or like a simple face makeup because it just looks very natural, very cute, very simple, very classy, not too much going on and I like it. I like looking like this sometimes and obviously I have my times where I just go full out, I do my lips, I do my eyeshadow, I have my lashes and all of that but for work we'll keep it natural we keep it basic we keep it simple we don't want to scare people away with our eyelashes and things like that so this is basically what i do when i go to work kudos to those that have time to do like a full beat and go to work with a full beat because i wish i was one of them but i don't think i will have the time to do lashes to do the contour to do everything i literally won't find the time so but yeah you can go to work like a natural face you can go to work with a full beat you can go to work with no makeup it's literally up to you so whatever you want to do is what you'll do because no one is going to force you to wear makeup no one's going to force you not to wear makeup if you want to wear a full beat if you want to wear a natural face it's up to you guys but for me the more natural look is what i have time for if i decide to do makeup for work but if i had time if i had all the time in the world i would do a full beat but I only have time to do this natural look for work so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video please comment below if you guys have enjoyed my video give this video a thumbs up comment below and let me know what other kind of videos you would like me to film this year for the year of 2022 and i'll be seeing you guys in my next video and for those that haven't hit that subscribe button be sure to hit that subscribe button and join my youtube family but thank you so much for watching this video i hope to see you guys in my next next video but until then bye guys and see you in my next video